Today we're going to share a special presentation of St. Norbert College's picture book. Norbert College mascot. By Daddy Patton. Nick Patton. By Nick Patton. Before I tell you that story, I need to tell you this story. Da la 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 So this book is based off of and the stone cutter. And an ancient story called the stone cutter. Have you ever heard the story of the stone cutter? No, 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 no. Well, let's first talk about the stone cutter. Daddy, why did you make him smile? Oh, well, that's a good and question. You, and then why did you put the safety glasses on? Because that's hard work. Oh, he needs safety. He needs safety glasses. Let's let's give him some safety glasses. So one day, the stone cutter was out there chipping away at his mountain. So he goes to a mountain and he takes his pickaxe and he swings it. <clears throat> how does it how does it sound when you swing it? <coughs> oh, that's hard. Elliot, how does it sound? <coughs> oh, that sounds super, super hard. Super hard work. So he, he finally gets his stone. And he takes his stone and he puts it in his wagon and he's hauling his wagon back to the village. But then, on the path back to the village, there was the king coming the other way. And that king made the stonecutter move his, his wagon to the side of the road so the king could get through. Do you think that made the stonecutter happy? No. So, the stonecutter sat there in the side of the ditch, and he said, This is not fair. I wish I wasn't a stonecutter anymore. I wish I was the king. And you know what happened? He became the king. Magically, unbelievably, he became the king. Our stonecutter is looking very much like a king. So now our little stonecutter guy, turned king, is sitting in his castle on a hot, hot day. And he's thinking, this is awesome. I'm the king. I, I rule everybody, right? But on that hot, hot day, the sun was beating down on that castle. And the, do you guys know that castles back in the day didn't have air conditioning? You didn't know that? I well, never, I, I, didn't, I didn't even know because I never thought about it. You never even thought about it? Okay, well, think about it. You're in this big castle, no, no air conditioning, and the sun's beating down on that castle, and it's getting super hot. And the stone cutter slash king is thinking, here I am, the most, most powerful person in this kingdom, and I am sweating, and I am miserable. Instead of being the king, I wish I was. The sun. And then magically, somehow, unbelievably, our stonecutter turned king. Doesn't need ears anymore because he is the sun. Probably doesn't even need eyebrows anymore. So our sun is out there and he's being bright and he's shining down on everybody. and He's being the most powerful thing in the world. And he's thinking, this is awesome. I love being the sun. Until one day when a cloud came rolling by. And what that cloud did was it blocked the sun's rays. And the sun thought to himself, this is crazy. Here I am, the most powerful thing in the world, and a cloud? A cloud can block my rays? This is ridiculous. I wish I was. The cloud. And he thought, this is awesome. I get to block the sun's rays. I get to rain on people. Until one day when the wind blew. And the wind blew that cloud around wherever the wind wanted the cloud to go. And the clouds thought, this is crazy. Here I am thinking I'm so powerful and this little wind can come by and just push me around. I don't want to be the cloud anymore. I wish I was. The wind. And so he was blowing all over the place. He was blowing hats off people. He thought that was pretty fun. And he was blowing clouds around and he was blowing leaves around. And he thought, this is awesome. Until one day when he blew up against a mountain. And as much as he blew, as much as he tried to push that mountain around, he couldn't. He couldn't budge that mountain at all. So our stone cutter turned king, turned sun, turned cloud, turned wind, said to himself, I wish I was the mountain. And he thought, this is awesome. I am so powerful, so strong, nothing Nothing can touch me now. Not the wind can bother me, not the cloud, not the sun. Nothing can bother me because I am a mountain. 
until one day down at the mountain's base, he felt a little bit of himself getting chipped away. He looked down and what did he see? A stone cutter chopping out his stone. Taking little bits of himself and carrying him away. So I had this story and I really, this is an ancient story that has been told lots of times. And I thought it'd be super fun for me to tell it. But then I got this Norby project and I thought, wouldn't it be cool if we did a story based off of the stone cutter with Norby Knight in St. Over College? And that idea became the book that we're going to read to you today called Norby, the College Mascot. Norby, 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 Norby. I got Norby. Norby the Green Knight was the mascot of St. Norbert College. He spent his days spreading school spirit throughout the campus. Norby loved the college traditions. He led cheers at games. He guarded the school's magic victory bell. And he always had time for hugging babies and posing for pictures. Norby loved being the mascot. Until one day, right at the beginning of the school year, when the college held a big celebration, a student gave a speech to the new class. It was about learning how to change the world. Norby listened. Norby thought if he were given the opportunity, he would love to learn how to change the world. Leaning against the magic victory bell, he closed his eyes. I wish, Norby said to himself, I wish I was a student. Now, we've just listened to the stonecutter story, right? Yeah. And now we get to this part of this book. What do you think is going to happen? Um, I think he's going to um, become the student. Yeah, I do. You think he's going to change into a student? Okay, so if Norby's going to change into a student, how would he look different? Because he would look t- like tinier and like have some hair and like... Oh, you think he's going to have some hair? Okay, instead of in- maybe instead of uh, the plume, he'll have some hair. And you think he's going to wear like maybe like some earbuds? Do you think college kids wear earbuds? Uh, but... but- Maybe he doesn't wear like his night uniform. Yeah, he's a student. Yeah, so we'd have, he'd have to wear something other than his night uniform because he's not a knight anymore, right? All right, should we see what happens? I wish Norby said to himself, "I wish I was a student." And then, to his surprise, he was. He went to class, ate at the cafeteria, and joined a study group. He even tried out for the rowing team. Norby liked being a student. Until one day, when his professor gave the class a pop quiz. Norby thought if he were in charge, he wouldn't give pop quizzes. I wish, Norby said to himself, I wish I was a professor. Now, do you know what a professor is? Um, a professor is like a teacher. Yeah, exactly, like a teacher. Do you know what a pop quiz is? Yeah. What is a pop quiz? It's like when you quiz someone. Yeah, it's like it's like a test that you don't know is coming. You better have studied, but I didn't tell you it was coming. And Norby thought that wasn't fair. Hey, Daddy. Yeah. Guess what? What? You know, I have tests in school. You know, like math, math, math quizzes. You get math quizzes. Yeah. So she just gives us a so so she so we cannot use anybody else's clues and she doesn't even use the smart board whoa we need to use our ears just like just like your brain is the only thing you can use Uh uh-huh and we need to use our ears to listen that sounds like a that sounds like a pretty strict test so anyway back to our story Where, where were we at oh yeah norby was wishing he was a professor so if norby was a professor what do you think would change he should have a book. Okay, she'd have a, a book to like. To, she'd have a book to teach kids stuff with. Uh huh. Teacher's book. And and she she has glasses and white hair. Oh, so and the, like come on, kind of like wild, wild hair. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Daddy. Yeah. You should mostly say the shirts and the pants, right? Because it would be gross if we didn't. <laughs> yeah. No, I think Norby should wear shirts and pants yeah. always. Yes. <laughs> okay, well, let's. He's wearing his nice uniform. Let's see what happens. I wish Norby said to himself, "I wish I was a professor," and then he was. Norby gave lectures on the lawn, enjoyed getting to know each of his students, and never gave a pop quiz. 
Norby liked being a professor. Until one day, when the college president came to see him, he told Norby that he shouldn't give his students smiley faces for grades. Norby thought, if he were in charge, he'd allow smiley faces. I wish, he said to himself, I wish I was the college president. Daddy, he's really sad of you. Why is he giving the students smiley faces? He really should give them, like, the letters, right? Real grades? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what everybody was saying, but, you know, Norby, he wanted to do something a little different. I usually have the same grade in my math quizzes. Yeah? Guess what it always is. What's your, what's your grade? S. What does S mean? S means super. <laughs> S means super. All right. Well, you get S's. Well, Norby was trying to give smiley faces. But it didn't work out for him. Yeah. But then he said that he wished to be a college president. So what's going to happen? So he's going to become a college president. What do you think? What do you think we need for Norby to turn into a college president? What do you need? What does he need to look like? Like. He needs to like wear a suit. You think? Yeah, like a suit. And his hair he can't be all messy or stuff. He needs like really fancy, nice, slick back hair. Don't you think? Uh huh. And he has a pendant thing. Oh, he needs like a he needs like a big important pen to sign stuff. What about some some fancier glasses, some more presidential glasses? You think you should have those? Yep. All right. I wish he said to himself, "I wish I was the college president," and then he was. He went to important meetings, signed diplomas, and made important decisions. He held ice cream parties every afternoon. Norby liked being the college president. Until one day, when a student came to see him, she told him that the college had no one to help carry on its traditions. Things just didn't seem the same, and the school had lost all its spirit. Norby had quite enjoyed being a student, a professor, and the college president, but he realized his college needed him to be something else. Norby leaned up against the magic victory bell and thought, I wish, he said to himself, I wish I was the college mascot. So gone with the glasses, gone with the hair, gone with the suit. And now we have... Norby Knight! I wish, he said to himself, I wish I was the college mascot. Then he opened his eyes, and he was. The end. Thanks to St. Norbert for letting us read this story for you today. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. <laughs> I'm Lala. Bye. I'm Ayat. And I'm Nick. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>